News is coming in from the Supreme Court. The top court confirming the conviction of Vikas Yadav, Vishal Yadav and Sukhdev Pehlwan in the Nitish Katara murder case. But the Supreme Court also saying that it will examine the sentence and it issues notice to the Uttar Pradesh government. The Delhi High Court had sentenced Vikas Yadav, Vishal Yadav and Sukhdev Pehlwan to a 30-year jail term with a 50 lakh fine. The High Court said that there will not be any remission in their sentence. In February 2002, Nitish Katara was murdered by the Yadavs. In 2008, a trial court sentenced them to life. So the Supreme Court now upholding the conviction, at least for the mo moment, the sentence will be decided. Arunachalam Vedyanathan joining us on the phone line. Veda, give us uh, more details about the Supreme Court judgment. Amitabh, this hearing went on for almost uh, two and a half hours. So basically, the uh, question before the Supreme Court was whether to uphold the conviction or just give relief to Vikas and Sukhdev Pailan, who came to the Supreme Court, challenging their conviction of 30 years of jail term given by the trial court as well as confirmed by the Delhi High Court. So today, the Supreme Court held that uh, the conviction is fine. So uh, they confirmed the conviction saying that it's a well-executed conspiracy and well-executed affair in killing Mr. Mitesh Katara and said that as far as the sentencing is concerned, whether 30 year sentence should remain or there should, it should be lessened or it should be added further, court said we will examine it later and issue notice to UP government. So one part, the conviction is confirmed, but whether they will undergo 30 years sentence as ordered by the Delhi High Court or not, that will be decided later. This quantum of sentence will be decided later, probably after six weeks. Uh, whether, uh, whether just give us a little bit uh, more sense about uh, the sentencing. Why did uh, the Supreme Court uh, not uphold that and why is it looking at it later? Normally what happens is when an appeal is filed in the Supreme Court, the first it's notice is given and takes up at a later date. But in this case, uh, Nitish, in this uh, Nitish Katara murder case, today is a preliminary hearing, but the Supreme Court took it up at full strength, heard it at length, and said that uh, conviction part is there, okay with the conviction part because it's court felt that uh, there is no point to interfere with the Delhi High Court order because it's a well-judged, well-balanced order confirming the conviction because it's a well-planned conspiracy. As for the sentencing is concerned, the, now the court wants to hear both Vikas, Vishal, as well as Sotev Pailwan's argument whether they want to reduce it or not. So far, giving a uh, leeway to them for their arguments, that's why court uh, issued notice to UP government and adjourn it for next six weeks. So the sentencing part, court want to decide it after hearing at length, again, from all the three persons. Uh, any reactions from the defense lawyers? In fact, uh, the defense, today the argument was done only by the, all the three persons, uh, Vikas and Sukhdev Pailwan as well as Vishal Yadav. So other side didn't argue. In fact, court, uh, the, the two judge bench headed by Justice Keher, uh, went through the file, it seemed, because they were pointing all the questions to the uh, lawyers representing Yadavs. So other side didn't argue at all. Maybe on the sentencing side, when the chance comes, the prosecution side may argue. Right. Uh, with just a confirmation on when uh, the court will be hearing the aspect about sentencing? Now, as for the sentence is concerned, yes, court has issued notice to the prosecuting agency, Uttar Pradesh government, and they sought their responses within six weeks. So UP government will have to uh, uh, respond to the Supreme Court saying that whether the 30-year sentence is right, or whether they can be reduced or not. All this point, UP government will be informing the Supreme Court. After that, the lawyers for the three parties, Vikas, Vishal, and uh, Sukhdev Pelwan will be arguing this. After that, only the court will decide on the quantum of sentence. Uh, whether just for our viewers, uh, benefit just to recount uh, the details of this case. This murder took place in 2002. Nitish Katara was in love with uh, 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 politician D.P. Yadav's daughter and who sons Vishal and his cousin Vikas Yadav both in, in a marriage party uh, Nitish Katara was kidnapped and killed because they did not want uh, Nitish Katara to marry their daughter, marry their sister Bharti Yadav. So after that, the next day, that's an, probably the 2002 in February, I suppose, somebody said, right the next day after the, after the incident, body was discovered, after these people were arrested, and trial court sentenced them in 2008, whereas Sukhdev Pailwan case, he was caught a little later, and trial court gave him sentence in 2010. So all these three challenges in Delhi High Court. Delhi High Court confirmed the conviction and sentenced them 25 years plus 5 years. That's 30 years to 30 years to Vikas and uh, Vishal, 25 years to Sukhdev Paswan. 
So all this, they, they came to Supreme Court challenging their sentences as well as conviction. So today, Supreme Court confirmed their conviction that they are they are found guilty and confirming Delhi High Court uh, order. But as for the sentence, sentences jail term is concerned, whether 30 years for Vikas and Vishal and 25 years for Sukhdev Paswan, Supreme Court said we will examine it because the advocates wanted to argue at length and court said they should give more time. As far as the conviction part is concerned, the two judgments agreed saying that it's a well-executed uh, conspiracy, so we can't interfere with the Delhi High Court order. That's what the Supreme Court has said. So as far as the quantum of sentence is concerned, now they've issued notice to the UP government uh, to reply in six weeks, whereas the prosecution side wants the sentence to be lowered less than 30 years, 24 years. And after hearing UP government as well as the lawyers for Vikas, Vishal and Sukhdev Pailwan, the Supreme Court will decide on the quantum of sentence. So whether today's challenge, was it uh, a challenge of the conviction or the challenge of the quantum of the sentencing? No, the challenge is basically conviction as well as sentencing both. So today, Supreme Court took only one part. Conviction, they upheld it. So the uh, sentencing, the quantum of sentence, the Supreme Court will decide it at a later stage. So, uh, Arunachalam Vedinathan reporting there on the Supreme Court confirming the conviction to uh, Vikas Yadav, Vishal Yadav and uh, Sukhdev Pehlwan in the Nitish Katara murder case. The Supreme Court also saying that it will examine the sentencing and it's issued a notice to the Uttar Pradesh uh, government. That case, as far as I understood from what Vedinathan was pointing out there, was, will be heard in six weeks. De just looking at the background of the case, the Delhi High Court had sentenced Vikas Yadav, Vishal Yadav, and Sukhdev Pehlwan to 30 years in jail with a 50 lakh fine to both the Yadav brothers. The High Court had then said that there would not be any remission in the sentence. In February 2002, Nitish Katara was murdered by the Yadav brothers. In 2008, the trial court had sentenced them to life, and as we said, the Delhi High Court had in fact said that there would be no remission of that sentence. The Supreme Court now upholding the sentence and the conviction, at least, of <coughs> both the Yadav brothers, the Yadav's sons there, Vikas Yadav and Vishal Yadav, as well as Sukhdev Pehlwan, who was hired by the two. Uh, but the Supreme Court also, in fact, saying that it would look at the issues of sentencing, which had been given by the trial court and the high court subsequently. So both sides, the defense and the prosecution, will be able to argue for and against the uh, quantum of sentence that has been handed down. It was life by the trial court in 2008 and subsequently the Delhi High Court saying that they would be sentenced for 30 years without any uh, remission. And, uh, and now we are joined on the phone line by Neelam Katara. Mr. Katara, uh, finally this has gone to the top court which has also upheld the conviction to both the Yadav brothers as well as Sukhdev Pelwan. Hello? Hello? Neelam Katara ma'am, can you hear us? Yes, please just repeat your question again. I, I was just saying that it's gone to the top court which has upheld the conviction against the Yadav brothers and Sukhdev Pelwan now. Yes, I mean it's a huge relief because uh, I, I mean, I can really believe it. 13 and a half years later, the highest court of the country has said that, in fact, Nitish was killed by the trio. And uh, I think uh, this is coming after 13 and a half years. Uh, I, I, I am very, really happy that uh, Nitish has got justice to a large extent. And, of course, the uh, matter of quantum of sentence remains. But this is a huge big thing because my stand stands vindicated. And, uh, you know, it's a matter of my credibility also that what I had been saying was in fact true. And of the one or two witnesses who did stand with me, I think it's a big day for all of us. So the Supreme Court, in fact, in upholding the, the conviction, which also said that the murder was well-planned and it was a well-planned and executed conspiracy. Absolutely. They said that it was a well-planned, well-executed murder and brutally done. And they also said that because the uh, other party went after the one witness who had held out a death. And, you know, they tried to sort of say that he was a brought, brought up witness and everything. But the High Court, uh, Supreme Court said, what about the other witnesses? I mean, all of them resiled and he came, had very harsh comments to make about Bharti and also Nitish's friends who, uh, some, the other friends also, who completely disowned him. And I think uh, that I think the Supreme Court did a very thorough job, and uh, they gave two and a half hours, so the other side cannot even say that they weren't heard properly. Uh, normally, an appeal is SLP is not heard for that long. So I mean, I am really, really, very relieved 
that the conviction has been upheld and then we'll see where we go from here. In fact, taking up from that last point, uh, the Supreme Court will look at the sentencing aspect later. Pardon? The, the sentencing aspect will be looked at by the Supreme Court later, even though it's upholding the conviction. Yes, the conviction has been upheld. The sentencing aspect, they said, they will, uh, because there, there is a difference between the high court, had said, the trial court had said a simple life, which after which they would, would possibly get remission after 14 years, but the high court had enhanced it to 25 years with no remission. So, this is, uh, so there the Supreme Court says they will look at it again in detail and uh, they, I think they will issue a notice, I think, six weeks voting later. It so is, that is it. But this in itself, the conviction being upheld is something big. It is extremely big, Mrs. Katara. Six weeks is what we believe also the notice period. Uh, what would you want in terms of sentencing? Uh, well, I've been asking for a death penalty throughout and uh, looking at the High Court uh, judgment also, I think the High Court judgment has also uh, disagreed with the trial court judgment, but since there is no clear sentencing policy and the Supreme Court at different points has given different uh, verdicts in the matter of sentencing, so I think it's a very open-ended judgment by the High Court. So let us see, I will consult my counsels and also uh, the state would also be putting in an appeal to so see where we go from here. But, uh, I mean, I, I would like to meet my counsel, discuss the whole thing with them, and then decide. Mrs. Neelam Katara, thanks for joining us on the day when the Supreme Court has upheld the conviction of uh, Vikas Yadav, Vishal Yadav, and Sukhdev uh, Belwan in your son's murder case. That's Nitish Katara's murder case. Mrs. Katara saying that she would still want the death penalty to be awarded. The Supreme Court hasn't decided on the sentencing, saying that it will do so at a later date. Six weeks is the notice period that has been given.